<laughs> oh my god. Is Chrissy Shateras on crack again? Talking about living in a dumpster and sucking dick behind a dumpster while he's on crack? Like he's talked about a version of him being. I mean, look at his facial expressions, man. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> oh, what a goofball. Chris, I don't hate you. Chrissy Shateras, I don't hate you, but you sure don't have much moral character. You can't tell the truth on your channel, can you? You can't talk about the evidence that I showed you. You tried to paint me as a liar, and as an agent, and that's what makes you a piece of shit, basically. Your moral compass is broken. You don't have integrity or honor or honesty. So that just makes you like so many other YouTube quote unquote truthers. You know, you're probably a felon. I think you mentioned having a felony in your youth for drug dealing and being, you know, like a street thug kid. Street kid, sold drugs, somebody ratted you out. You said you had a felony. A lot of these YouTubers seem to have felonies. It's very interesting, the ones with channels, I mean. I don't mean people that watch YouTube or in the truth community and watch these channels. The ones that run these channels. It's all very interesting. But he does talk about, you know, living in a dump and smoking crack and sucking dick behind a dumpster that's right on video on his channel I don't know if it's his most recent video this one or another one but it's in a recent video Chris you're messed up man you were a completely different person in your videos two years ago you said something about how you changed when you were meditating and drinking and talking about spirits and spirits being an alcohol and spirits going into you You've got some issues, buddy. You've got some real issues, bro. You should look into that. You might need an exorcist, and I'm not even kidding about that. I mean, the faces are hilarious, but I mean, the faces you do or do remind me of Hollywood and do remind me of possessed people. You've got some real spiritual issues and some real anger issues. By your emails to me, I offered this dude an olive branch after he trashed me for weeks. You know, I offered him a peace offering, you know, peace or conflict, you know, which one do you want to decide on? We both said some things or whatever, and I tried to say, hey, you want to squash it and end all this? And he chose, he didn't choose peace. He told me off. He name called me. He accused me of being an agent in emails after I offered him an olive branch. He's got some real fucking issues. He's, he's, you know, he's got more than character flaws, more than trauma. I think he might be possessed. I really do. And if you look at his faces and his changes, he's not just animated. I think he's demonic. I really do. Watch, his, watch this video, Suffering Realm 101, and watch some of his other recent videos. It's pretty intense, the faces that he can come up with and stuff. It's, uh, it's almost like watching a Hollywood actor. Anyway, everybody take care. I love you all. Um, I hope you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear the truth and to be able to spot these people. You know, a lot of them are liars and demonic. They've got some real deep issues. Take care. Bye.